Compton, California is the home of roughly 105,000 residents. The properties in Compton range on an average at $400,000. The average household median income is about $48,000. Most families in Compton are surviving from paycheck to paycheck to hold on to their investment of home ownership. While inflation of the economy for the past 12 months, ending in November 2019, is at 2.05%, it's very hard to hold on to the American dream. With mortgage, home insurance, and property taxes, providing for a family can be difficult. Compton has just had an increase on its property taxes in November 2019 due to the selling of a bond acquired by Measure S. Measure S is a $350 million school bond that has been taken out of taxpayers' money to fix the infrastructure of the dilapidating schools in the Compton Unified School District. Compton voters voted on this bond because it was told to the residents that Measure S would fix all of the deteriorating infrastructure of the Compton schools. In 2002, Compton Unified School District acquired a bond for $80 million. Charles Davis was against Measure I because he was not on the Compton Unified School Board at that time to benefit from the kickbacks from vendors and contractors. Charles Davis fought against Measure I because it would increase property taxes. In 2014, Charles Davis was voted on the Compton Unified School Board and as a part of the five-member voting bloc. November 2015, Compton Unified School District had Measure S on the ballot for a new bond of $350 million. Charles Davis supported Measure S, and Measure S would increase the property taxes just like Measure I had done. $60 for every $100,000 assessed on your property. Measure I would take the residents 33 years to pay back, and the residents of Compton are still paying on the bond for Measure I, which was to fix dilapidated schools, and the Compton Unified Schools are still falling apart. Compton residents are paying on two bonds from the Compton Unified School District. It is a little strange that Charles Davis would fight against Measure I when he wasn't on the school board. And as soon as he was voted onto the school board, he now supports a bond bigger than the bond he fought against. Measure I was supposed to fix a long list of items. Compton City residents should be tired of the voodoo accounting and creative financing. The board members of the Compton Unified School District, Micah Ali, Charles Davis, Satcher Zarita, and Superintendent Darren Brawley were masterminding the biggest heist of all times. The Compton Unified School District would announce Measure S, a $350 million school bond that would cost taxpayers close to $1 billion to pay back over the span of 30 years. Satcher Zarita, Micah Ali, Charles Davis, and Darren Brawley knew that if Measure S passed, they would be set for life and could possibly all retire from the $350 million school bond. Ask yourself, how could they retire from money that's not even their money? Well, this is how it works. The board instructs Brawley to hire a CFO who has personal relations with the contractors and vendors. Vendors and contractors would mark the price up on how much items and jobs really cost, and all the extra overhead would be kicked back to the board members and the superintendent. 
Measure S was introduced to the residents of Compton to fix the dilapidated schools, and which Measure I was supposed to fix in 2002. Measure S was introduced to the residents of Compton to fix the dilapidated schools in which Measure I was supposed to do in 2002. The money from Measure I was mismanaged, and there weren't any funds left to restore the Compton Unified Schools. The Compton Unified School District received all the votes they needed for Measure S to come into effect. The whole narrative changed from fixing many schools to just one school. Compton High School was the underlying proposed project that was a part of the biggest heist in Compton Unified School District history. Measure S money will be spent on one high school. The proposed state-of-the-art high school will be built from $350 million school bond, but in fact, the enrollment is very low. Compton Unified School District enrollment has been decreasing very drastically. Over a 10-year span, the Compton Unified School District loses about 2,400 students a year. With the new high school being built, what about the other two high schools? Will Centennial and Dominguez High School be eventually shut down? It doesn't take $350 million to build one high school. Surrounding school districts have built brand new state-of-the-art high schools for half of the price. Compton Unified has received millions of dollars in grants from the federal government for programs that are not really effective for the students. Just another payoff for the school board members. There isn't an independent citizens oversight committee to perform annual audits to ensure funds are spent properly. So the next time you look at your property taxes and see the tax increase, be sure to remember to vote no on Micah Ali and no on Charles Davis because there have been no improvements since they have been in office. Stay tuned as we have more investigative reports on the failing Compton Unified School District. Please subscribe to our channel.